message is transmitted at the request of the Indonesia Seismology Agency at approximately 3.51 p.m. Indonesia Western Time. A new fault line about 105 kilometers in length has been discovered in the center of Lake Toba. Seismologists will be carefully monitoring the fault line for potential earthquakes and earthquake patterns. Seismologists will warn the public of any large earthquakes detected. The age and source of this new fault line is currently unknown and must be analyzed further. This new fault line may be signs of volcanic activity but cannot be confirmed at this time. Further information will be provided once available. message is transmitted at the request of the Indonesia Seismology Agency at approximately 4.21 a.m. Indonesian Western Time. An earthquake with a magnitude of 8.9 has been detected and has struck Lake Toba. The epicenter is at the heart of Lake Toba. This earthquake has caused massive damage and has been felt as far away as Malaysia. Even though the chances are very low, Indonesian geologists are not ruling out an eruption of the Toba supervolcano. All residents receiving this message are advised to prepare for aftershocks. Tune in to local media for more information on the situation. Good morning. We are coming in live with breaking news coming from Lake Toba. Earlier this morning, a massive 8.9 earthquake has struck Lake Toba, with the epicenter being at the heart of Lake Toba. Massive damage has been reported. Buildings in the city of Medan have collapsed entirely with casualties being reported. This earthquake has been felt as far as Malaysia. What's concerning is that seismologists Indonesia are not ruling out a possible eruption of the Toba Super Bowl condo. Even though the chances are low, people are going crazy on social media fearing a super eruption is going to happen soon and an extinction level event is possible. There is no need to worry. There is a very low chance for Toba to erupt. People love to scare themselves on social media. There have been reports of aftershocks taking place over the last few hours. These quakes are much smaller, however ranging from 2.3 to 2.9 on the Richter scale. Seismologists in Indonesia are closely monitoring Lake Toba reporting some volcanic activity. Lake temperatures have risen by 5 degrees Fahrenheit. This is volcanic news with a special report. We now return to our regular programming.
message is transmitted that the request of the Indonesia Seismology Agency and the Indonesian government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. A mandatory evacuation has been issued for residents living within 500 miles of Lake Toba. Over the last few hours, the Indonesian Seismology Agency has reported that land mass in the lake has been rising. And severe volcanic activity has been reported under Lake Toba. Magma is building up at the surface, and lake temperatures are rising. It is likely that the Toba supervolcano will erupt in the next 24 to 36 hours. Areas within 95 miles of Lake Toba will be obliterated, and will be unrecognizable and uninhabitable for years, and will be covered in large amounts of ash. This eruption will likely be a level 8 on the volcanic explosivity index. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation, and should be taken very seriously. All residents receiving this message are strongly advised to evacuate immediately. This includes the following areas. South Sumatra, North Sumatra, West Sumatra, Asap, Taman Negara, Nyad, Jambi. When you are evacuating, tie a red collar on your mailbox or door to show authorities you have safely left the area. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law. Enforcement officials will escort you to the nearest pickup point. Gather all people in your home. Take important supplies such as food, water, coal thing, first aid kit, medical supplies, flashlight, a fully charged cell phone and cell phone chargers, a battery-powered radio or hand crank radio to last you for the duration of this emergency, turn off all air conditioning and heating, lock all windows and doors, shut off all gas, and seal all cracks on doors and windows with tape or damp towels before you leave your house. Do not pick up relatives from schools, hospitals, or nursing homes. These facilities all have their own emergency procedures and will act on them accordingly. It is recommended that you evacuate to the North American continent as it will receive little or no ash fall from the eruption. Most importantly, stay calm, do not panic, Panicking will only make the situation worse. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. If you do not evacuate, you are facing certain death. Tune into local media for more information on this dangerous situation. following message is transmitted at the request of the Indonesian government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. A mandatory evacuation has been issued for residents living within 500 miles of Lake Toba. Over the last few hours, the Indonesian Seismology Agency has reported that land mass in the lake has been rising, and severe volcanic activity has been reported under Lake Toba. Magma is building up at the surface and lake temperatures are rising. It is likely that the Toba supervolcano will erupt in the next 24 to 36 hours. Areas within 95 miles of Lake Toba will be obliterated and will be unrecognizable and uninhabitable for years and will be covered in large amounts of ash. This eruption will likely be a level 8 on the volcanic explosivity index. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation and should be taken very seriously. All residents receiving this message are strongly advised to evacuate immediately. When you are evacuating, tie a blue string on your mailbox or door to show authorities you have safely left the area. Should you require assistance, emergency management and law enforcement officials will escort you to the nearest pickup point. Gather all people in your home. Take important supplies such as food, water, coal things, First aid kit, medical supplies, flashlight, a fully charged cell phone and cell phone chargers, a battery powered radio or hand crank radio to last you for the duration of this emergency, turn off all air conditioning and heating, lock all windows and doors, shut off all gas, and seal all cracks on doors and windows with tape or damp towels before you leave your house, do not pick up relatives from school, 
hospitals or nursing homes. These facilities all have their own emergency procedures and will act on them accordingly. It is recommended that you evacuate to the North American continent as it will receive little or no ash fall from the eruption. Most importantly, stay calm, do not panic. Panicking will only make the situation worse. Evacuate now. I repeat, evacuate now. If you do not evacuate, you are facing certain death. Tune into local media for more information on this dangerous situation. Good morning from Fox 41 News in Detroit, Michigan. We have some breaking news coming from Lake Toba in Indonesia. Seismologists have released a statement about half an hour ago that severe volcanic activity has been reported at Lake Toba. They have also released a grim statement that the Toba supervolcano will erupt in the next 24 to 36 hours. An immediate evacuation has been ordered for residents living within 500 miles of Lake Toba. Areas in this order include Asa, Nyan, Jambi, South Sumatra, West Sumatra, North Sumatra, Cayman Megara. In addition, the radius includes the southern area of Malaysia. Areas within 95 miles of Lake Toba will be completely obliterated with large amounts of ash falls and will be uninhabitable for years. This is going to be one for the record books, as there has never been a super eruption in recorded history. Toba has not had an eruption in over 20,000 years. If you are receiving this message, evacuate immediately. This is an extremely dangerous and serious situation, and action needs to be taken immediately. If you do not evacuate, you are putting yourself and others in extreme danger. This eruption has the potential to blanket the entire oceanic continent in ash and cause the volcanic winter, crop failure, and famine. The Indonesia Seismology Agency is urging those with asthma and other respiratory conditions to wear a gas mask to prevent exposure to ash, as those individuals have a higher risk of death if the ash is entailed. This is Fox 41 News with a special report. We return to our regular programming. Emergency action notification requested by the White House. All EIS participants will follow activation procedures in the EIS operating handbook for a global level emergency. The president or one of his representatives will shortly deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt our regular programming. This is a global emergency. Important details will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All cable systems and broadcasts shall transmit this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air, providing news and information to the public and assigned areas. This is Fox 41. We will continue to serve the Detroit area. If you are not in this local area, tune into stations providing news and information for your area. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving. The Detroit area, do not use the telephone. The telephone line should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. We interrupt our regular programming at the request of the White House. 
This is the emergency alert system. All normal programming has been discontinued during this emergency. This is Fox 41. We will continue furnishing news, official information and instructions for the Detroit area. If you are not in the Detroit area, you should tune into stations providing news and information for your area. It is important that you listen carefully to announcements from this station at your local area. Stand by, the president or his designated representative will be speaking shortly. following message I am about to give you has been given the authorization for release at the request of myself, the United States Geological Survey, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, and the United States Government, effective as of 12.50, 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. I regret to inform the citizens of the United States. At approximately 12.51 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Toba Supervolcano in Indonesia has violently erupted 1,000 times more powerful than it was predicted to be as a result of the 8.9 earthquake that struck the lake. This explosion sent a mega shockwave that completely obliterated the entire oceanic continent and other countries within 2,000 miles of the lake and has sent a massive ash cloud. 30 kilometers into the sky, an extremely loud boom was heard as far away as the west coast of Canada, and massive amounts of magma and ash have been released into the atmosphere. Geologists can't even call this a VEI-8 eruption. For the first time in history, a volcano has had a VEI-9 eruption, even larger than a mega-colossal eruption. This eruption has been deemed an ultra-colossal eruption. It is little. Why that the whole planet will be covered by the ash cloud for decades with a global volcanic winter, meaning that temperatures will drop by one degree Celsius or more, and will also result in worldwide famine and crop failure. It is expected that ashfall will spread throughout the entire planet within five to six days. The areas within 2,000 miles of Lake Toba will likely be left uninhabitable for decades. Evacuations were successful until the supervolcano erupted 1,000 times more powerful than predicted and has killed everyone who evacuated. Tsunamis have also been created from the mega shock waves. Deep have towered up to 900 feet high and will strike the coast of every country in their parts. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation for the globe and should be taken very seriously. Everyone who is receiving this message, seek an underground shelter immediately. We strongly advise you to do the following. Find a basement or a room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building with as few windows and doors as possible. Close and lock all doors and windows. Turn off all heating and air conditioning systems. Close all vents and fireplace dampers and seal all cracks in your home with tape or damp. Be towels. Gather important supplies for your shelter, such as food, water, first aid kit, medical supplies, flashlight, clothing, cell phone and chargers, and a battery powered or hand crank radio to last you for the duration of this emergency. It is likely that ash fall will be around the planet for many years to come. Wear a gas mask to prevent ash exposure, especially if you have respiratory conditions. Do not leave your shelter as you risk dying from ash exposure. An eruption from a supervolcano has never been reported in the civilized existence of humans. This is the first T. E. A supervolcano has erupted SR. O eruption in 26,500 BC. The economy of the world is economy is to decline. Every city town and village will likely be destroyed or take major damage from the ash fall. The world shall not fall to this volcano. We will rise as one and rebuild together. We hope to rebuild areas lost to this eruption. Always stay positive and have hope. During these dark times, most importantly, stay calm. Do not panic. Panicking will make the situation worse than it is and will put more lives at risk. Thank you for listening to this message. That was a message from a representative of the president. We now return to the emergency alert system. This concludes the activation of the emergency alert system. Normal programming may now resume.
flight is global emergency. This message is transmitted at the request of the Canadian government. This is not a test. I repeat, this is not a test. A global emergency has been declared at approximately 12.51 p.m. The Togo Sikh of Old Tano in Indonesia has violently erupted 1,000 times more powerful than predicted to be as a result of an 8.9 earthquake that struck the lake. This explosion sent a mega shockwave that completely obliterated the entire oceanic continent and other countries within 2,000 miles of the lake and has sent a massive ash cloud 30 kilometers into the sky. An extremely loud boom was heard as far away as the west coast of Canada and massive amounts of magma and ash have been released into the atmosphere. For the first time in history, a volcano has had a VI-9 eruption, even larger than a mega colossal eruption. This eruption has been deemed an ultra colossal eruption. It is likely that the whole planet will be covered by the ash cloud for decades with a global volcanic winter, meaning that temperatures will drop by one degree Celsius or more and will also result in worldwide famine and crop failure. It is expected that ash fall will spread throughout the entire planet within five to six days. The areas within 2,000 miles of Lake Toba will likely be left uninhabitable for decades. Tsunamis have also been created from the mega shockwave and have towered up to 900 feet high and will strike the coast of every country in their path. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation and should be taken very seriously. Everyone who is receiving this message, seek an underground shelter immediately. We SDR probably advise you do the following. Find a basement or room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building with as few windows and doors as possible. Close and lock all doors and windows. Turn off all heating and air conditioning systems. Close all vents and fireplace dampers and seal all cracks in your home with tape or damp towels. Gather important supplies for your shelter, such as food, water, first aid kit, medical supplies, flashlights, clothing, cell phone and charges, and a battery powered or hand crank radio to last you for the duration of this emergency. It is likely that ash fall will be around the planet for M. Any years to come, wear a gas mask to prevent ash exposure, especially if you have respiratory conditions. Do not leave your shelter, as you risk dying from ash exposure. An eruption from a supervolcano has never been reported in the civilized existence of humans. The economy of the world is likely to decline. Every city, town, and village will likely be destroyed or take major damage from the ash fall. Tune into local media for information on the situation. message is transmitted at the request of the United States government. This is an emergency action termination. The ash cloud from the Toba mega eruption in 2021 has finally cleared out of the country. All residents may exit their shelters at this time. However, there is massive amounts of damage. The National Guard is having a hard time rescuing people from damaged or destroyed shelters. If your shelter is damaged or destroyed, call 911 and the Nation Guard will send you to the nearest military base if possible. All cable systems and broadcasts may now resume normal programming. Emergency BR. Oakcasts will now be handed over to state and local officials. This concludes all operations of the emergency alert system. Normal programming will now resume. The United States government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency.
pen type is all clear. For the entire country of Canada, this message is transmitted at the request of the Canadian government. This is an all clear message. The ash cloud from the Turbo Mega eruption in 2021 has finally cleared. Residents may now exit their shelters at this time. There is massive amounts of damage to the country, however, it may take decades to clean up and repair the damage from the ash cloud. The Canadian Armed Forces is having a hard time rescuing people from damaged or destroyed shelters. If your shelter is damaged or destroyed, call 911 and the Canadian Armed Forces, if possible, will take Y to the nearest base. All regular programming may now resume at this time. All emergency broadcasts will be handed to local and provincial officials. The government thanks you for your cooperation during this emergency.